Hello, and welcome to the New York State Archives webinar module series on records management spring cleaning, a family of short presentations that are intended as quick highlights of practical guidance and actions you can take to strengthen and advance your records management and archival programs. This module's topic is records liaisons, and I'm Dennis Riley, and will be your presenter. Do you feel like records management is an uphill battle, or do your efforts to build and maintain an effective records management program sometimes feel like you're herding cats? If you can identify with a sense of never making progress, or at least not as much progress as you would like, then you're in good company. In this presentation, I will discuss the responsibilities of an official records management officer, the benefits of setting up a team of records liaisons, and what their roles as liaisons can be in terms of achieving your records management goals and making your records management program strong and efficient. What exactly does the records management officer do? Well, the scope of their responsibilities is set out in law and regulations for both state agencies and local governments. Briefly speaking, records management officers plan, promote, and monitor their organization's records management program your agency or government size, its institutional culture, and the organizational placement of the RMO will determine the degree to which the records management officer takes a direct role in managing records. This can be a very centralized coordinating role, or it can be very decentralized, where day-to-day -day responsibility is delegated to staff in various offices or departments. As such, the records management officer supports and works with program managers and other staff. In larger entities, the RMO coordinates the work of liaisons from each program area, office, or department, which is what I will be focusing on during this presentation. The RMO also works with the state archives and serves as the main liaison with us. The RMO should also maintain a current records inventory, which is important for locating records, identifying problems, allocating resources, and developing an overall program plan. The records management officer helps develop and ideally annually review plans for improving records management in individual program areas. They also review and help implement retention and disposition. For state agencies, this includes reviewing negotiating and signing off on agency-specific retention items. For local governments, this includes ensuring the local retention schedule is adopted and helping us periodically update it. RMOs should also sign off on any authorization when records are destroyed. Finally, the RMO should respond to records disasters, including developing an emergency response plan and notifying the state archives when a disaster occurs taking immediate steps to protect damaged records, as well as initiating action when appropriate to reconstruct information in damaged and destroyed records. We have many other resources that explain in much greater detail the inventory process, retention and disposition, and disaster preparedness and response. So check out our website or contact us if you have questions about those topics. But sometimes being an RMO can feel like you've been set adrift in the Arctic Sea to fend for yourself. But records management cannot be just one person's responsibility. Good records management depends on a team effort. This is where having a team of liaisons can help lessen that sense of isolation, reduce the individual burden, and make concrete improvements to any records program. As noted, how liaisons function will depend on the size and nature of your organization. For smaller government entities, liaisons might not be practical. This is where having a records advisory body might make more sense to support the RMO. And we can offer additional help if you want to explore the benefits of such an advisory group, which is not the focus here. Just know that a records advisory body and a system of liaisons are not mutually exclusive either and can work together. In terms of records liaisons, briefly speaking, they are specific staff members who are identified and appointed 
as the primary point of contact on records management issues in each division, department, or office. And thus, they function as the main support for your records management officer in ensuring your organization meets its records management responsibilities. Getting senior executives to endorse a system of liaisons is important. Management at all levels set the tone as to whether records management is a priority and whether your records are viewed as vital information assets to help ensure the overall efficiency of your day-to-day -day business operations. An executive director directive establishing liaisons is a great first step. Responsibilities of the liaisons are not official, like that of the records management officer, but they are still vitally important and they can vary depending on the size of your organization, your institutional culture, and what you hope to achieve. But some key components include inventorying records, assisting in scheduling and disposition of records, helping identify historical records, preparing records for transfer to inactive storage, coordinating and communicating records management activities within your unit or office, and maintaining overall records management awareness. And we'll get to each of these in more detail. A records inventory is a process of locating, identifying, and describing records which your organization maintains, essentially knowing what your information assets are and where they are located. As a liaison, your role in this process includes identifying the content and function of records. You will be most familiar with the records of your office their content and types, and how they are used. You will be best positioned to match records to existing retention schedules as part of the inventory process and to make sure the inventory is up to date as records or functions become obsolete or evolve over time. Liaisons also identify gaps in the inventory and the retention schedule because some records may have been missed or may reflect new legal or business requirements. Liaisons communicate important information to the records management officer about the records in each office. This is vitally important. The RMO depends on this information to maintain the inventory and for developing schedules and managing the overall records program. In terms of retention and disposition, again, liaisons will be most familiar with the records in their office. So you can provide critical information about your business needs. In this way, you can help the RMO alert the state archives when record schedules need to be developed or modified. In this regard, liaisons help determine if the retention schedule needs updating as they may become obsolete or require modification, again, as agency or office functions change. Furthermore, regular, consistent disposition is critically important for good records management from both a legal and maintenance perspective. Liaisons are the linchpin in identifying when records are ready for disposition and regularly implementing retention schedules. Disposition includes destruction or transfer to inactive storage. For state agencies, this might also include transfer to the state archives. Liaisons need to be aware of what the final disposition is for a particular set of records in order to maintain the records properly while in the custody of the program unit. Liaisons should notify the RMO if records are not scheduled because these cannot be disposed legally without an approved schedule item from the state archives. Your RMO will work with us to ensure the records are properly covered by an approved schedule item. Liaisons also assist in legal holds, whether for freedom of information requests, e-discovery, audits, or other legal actions. Retention periods must be suspended until an audit is satisfied or a legal action ends. Liaisons are also important in helping identify historical records, which your organization maintains. In conjunction with your records management officer and the state archives, Liaisons can alert us to materials that may have enduring historical value or provide the essential evidence of a significant function, program, or event that warrants permanent preservation. 
If your organization maintains inactive storage, liaisons serve as the primary point of contact when preparing records for transfer from active office space. State agencies may also transfer records either to the State Records Center or for archival records directly to the State Archives. Whether you are a local government or a state agency, in this role, liaisons should notify the records management officer in advance and coordinate with them the proper procedure to accomplish the transfer. In general, for paper records, this includes boxing up the records, ensuring that one record series is in each box per box, removing hanging folders, preparing any container list which details the contents of each box, and appropriately labeling the outside of the boxes. Finally, liaisons should maintain an overall awareness of good records management practices. This includes taking advantage of State Archives training and resources. These are not just for records management officers. You should also familiarize yourself with good records management practices. So check out our website and sign up for our newsletters which provide a wealth of useful information. Liaisons should also maintain open communication with your records management officer. Remember, the RMO can't do it without you. You are also critical in identifying potential records management problems. Liaisons are often the first line of defense to keep records issues from becoming real headaches. If potential problems emerge, liaisons are often the first to know about it. And you should share records management best practices and requirements within your program unit. Remember, knowledge is power, and just like RMOs can't do everything, liaisons help spread awareness to ensure the entire organization is moving in the same direction. If everyone is rowing in the same direction, you will make progress. A group of dedicated liaisons can be an effective force multiplier for the records management officer, as well as ensuring program area staff are supported in building a strong, effective, and efficient records management program. Some final thoughts. Managing records is everyone's responsibility, and liaisons are a great approach to spreading the burden so records management doesn't seem so overwhelming. Seek evolution, not revolution. Records management doesn't happen overnight, and small progress in the right direction is better than doing nothing at all. Don't let perfection be the enemy of the good or even the good enough. Each of your environments will dictate slightly different solutions. And when in doubt, contact your records management officer and the state archives. We are here to help. Reach out to us with any of your records management and archival challenges. We'd love to work with you to develop solutions that fit your needs and circumstances.